Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So, it is my first to second last day. Oh, it is quite sweltering hot. My hair is back. I am comfortable. So, you've already watched the video, Soak It In Phase, right? So, <clears throat> now it's time to test the waters out. After a couple of days of, or weeks, or maybe a month of soaking it in, I can't stress enough that during that process you should start really meditating. At this point you're probably choosing, picking and choosing what your energy is going to be spent on. It is very important to be, I guess you could say selective at this point in phase of trying to get good juju in your life. Basically cleaning up the muck in your life. It is very important <clears throat> to get to that point where you're selective on what you allow in your life, what you sub subject yourself to, as well as what you stress over because there is no real there is no real such thing as there's not really such a thing as a stressless life it's true whatever stress it is it could be a good stress a bad stress um an everyday stress, like getting up, making breakfast, or answering a few phone calls and texts. It is important to get to, to be selective as to what you spend your energy on because that means that you're running your life. You are in the driver's seat of it rather than the passenger side. Or in the back seat, where some people say their life is in the trunk of a car, forgotten. Well, it's time to change that. Don't put yourself, don't put yourself on the back burner, especially when you have your own life to live. A lot of people live their life according to, you know, other people. That's not living a life, that's just copying and mimicking. Sometimes you just gotta go to a walkabout, which is basically walk and wonder. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so... Now this is the testing the waters. Once you become selective and got this niche for you, it, um, it becomes basically part of your life. It becomes your life. Testing the waters, well, if you can master meditation, for 10, 15 whole minutes and make it a habit, then and only then, you're ready to test the waters out as to what you are capable of. 
Now, when you start working on yourself to this magnitude, and you are selective as to what you use your energy for, you are able to use your energy to awaken something inside you that has been there since the very th creation of you. <clears throat> now, we all have this capability. We all can do it. But it's up to us up to us to know what to do do with it it's the ability of mastering your mind your spirit your emotions your thoughts <clears throat> basically you know when Nero in the matrix like flexed and he was like one with the matrix this is when you become one with your matrix yourself <clears throat> Some people call it Zen. Some people call it achieving peace and tranquility. I call it putting the pieces all back together of who you are, what you are, and what you're supposed to be. Now, it is really hard to keep this and to achieve this. Now, when you try to test the waters out on this, <clears throat> test it out. Start small now. Test it out on whether or not you can think really hard and make your pet come over into the uh, the room that the room that you're in. Like for instance, what I did was I thought really hard how badly I wanted my cat right beside me. Now I don't know where he was in the apartment at the time being, but but um. thought really hard, concentrated, and within probably 20 seconds after meditating for a full 25 minutes and putting the pieces all together and realizing that I was pretty much, I was one with myself as one can be. My cat walked in the room and looked at me and I understood him. Which is really creepy. He pretty much... It wasn't a thought and it wasn't a voice. It was a, a feeling of... Yes? Are you okay? What's up? So... When you achieve that and you pretty much... You know, you can also change... On, um... You can work on trying to get someone to call you. Like, for instance, let's say... You go wherever your mind is pulled to, like, okay, this person is open to suggestion. Next thing you know, phone call. Now, it's not so much as mind control. It's not. It's suggestion. The power of suggestion. You throw a suggestion out and someone bites. Now, if you do dare to be very particular and try to impose your will on someone, that's the beginnings of a dark worker, and I don't recommend that path, because you constantly have to feed it, and it's always hungry, and it demands so much of you. Now, if you chose the path of the light worker, that requires, all it does require is just time for yourself, self-care, and discipline. Truly, that's all, it, that's all it demands, is discipline. And doing a good deed when the occasion arises. I try to do one good deed a day. And if I do one, I try to do another one, and 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 another one. And another one. I, do, I do one selfish, one selfless, oh God, one selfless act, at least a day. At least. And I try to do another one. When I do one, I try to do another. And then all of a sudden you have the beginnings and the makings of a pretty awesome day. You can determine what kind of day you have by controlling how you respond and react. Now, thing is, 
it does require a lot of work. A lot of self-checking. Like, for instance, I was really snippy with a waiter one time. And I, when the waiter came back to refill my drink, I said, Hey, I'm sorry for my attitude. I'm just... I'm just full of myself today. So, how are you? Are you doing okay? Don't be afraid to correct yourself. Own up to what you said and done. Because if you have a nasty attitude and you rub it off on someone else, you just pretty much started a cycle that shouldn't have been started. Because it's up to us to clean and cleanse and make the world a better place. If you want the world to be a better place, then be the change you wish to see in the world. This is when you start testing the waters up and try to be the change you wish to see in the world. It's going to be hard, it's going to be tricky, and it's going to put, take a lot out of you. But it's going to be... It'll change. Let me tell you why. It'll change because... You're changing your environment around you. You started with yourself, and now you try to change your environment around you. <clears throat> now it's up to everyone else to fall in line or just live their life. It's up to everyone to mimic and copy what you do or say, or it's totally up to them to pretty much live their life. Hey, yep, nine to three. I see you tomorrow. Yay! It'll be my last day. No. I'll stop by and visit. Oh, I. I'm leaving the job that I have now just to let y'all know what that was about. Um, <clears throat> because I got a better job. And I'm leaving this place on good terms. And I'm doing the full two weeks. For some of you that know me that I've never been able to do to do the full two weeks. I never been able to do a two weeks like flat out because the places I used to work were that bad. Now see that's something else that people can do if they need to change their environment. You can try to work on it and try to change the environment so it's better or you can remove yourself from it. Sometimes we have to remove ourselves abruptly from people's lives and environments that serve no purpose but a paycheck. And then when you boil it down, you wonder to yourself, is it really worth, is the pay really worth going through the pain and the torment? Now, I'm only changing this job because of the pay. There's nothing wrong with the environment. I just needed more income, you know. At first, I used to try to look for a job that had income and benefits. I don't need to anymore, so I'm looking, I looked for a job that had more income. And commute time to be cut to pieces. I'll try to visit as much as I can. I have a reason to be in this area, Second and Charles. I do highly recommend to visit that place. Highly recommend. They have some good sales and good, good little deals on uh, New Age stuff that would help you out. But other than that, go to a, go to your local um, witchy store, herbal store, or New Age store, spiritual store, whatever you want to call it. New Age spiritually and paranormal apothecary there you go that's a smarter way of calling it supernatural and paranormal apothecary 
and goods. That crow's got a lot to say. Well, that is the advice I have for you today. Especially on this path of getting good juju in your life. I'm not saying it's easy. I never once said it was. In fact, I think I say it too much and too often that it is not easy. But the benefits are well worth it. Trust me. I'm very impatient. And if I don't see any benefit out of something, I really do not even bother with it. And that's just being plainly honest as I possibly can. So... Love and light to you all, and I wish, I wish, I wish we all have a really good day today.